Hello, Power Agents. This is Julie, and I'm here with your coach, Daryl Davis, today. Um, we've been getting a lot of requests for tech tips, and we wanted to do a quick video and share with you some of our best tech tips for using your Power Agent system. Uh, hello, Daryl. How are you today? Hello, Jules. <laughs> you ready to get started? Yes, I'm so ready. Awesome. One of the first questions I get all the time is, how do I create a folder on my desktop? Okay, so. If you can walk us through that and why that's important. Now, just a disclaimer, I'm a real estate coach, not a tech coach. <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is going to be like maybe, that. we're going to see some errors and, you know, me finding stuff. But I figured let the stupid guy teach the people. <laughs> all right. And it'll be easier. Now, you're all seeing my, my personal folder here. I should probably hide things in case there's something I don't want you to see. But how you do this you got your little thing over here and then this is this we don't use it anymore so if we let's go to this pc let's go to see there's folders now how you create a new folder is um you, whoops, sorry you can right click and it says new folder and then i'm going to call this folder power agent folder now so if i was a power agent i'd have this power agent folder now watch it gets better but wait there's more but wait there's more that's right i can now put here prospecting okay <laughs> i can't spell prospecting and then uh let me do another Pros this is um immediate perhaps um you're a tech genius what you're a tech genius yeah did i spell immediate right you did okay and then if i want so so here's the concept so if i go over the left if if you wanted to download some stuff from the power program website and you want to you know grab it and say all right i want to implement this immediate prospect i have other folders listing appointment farming you know i'm not going to go through all them so you can create your own little power program power agent folder of stuff okay so that's how you do that all right jules Perfect. what's next um well let's take them to the classroom and show them how to actually download a file into one of those folders okay good let's do that so ladies and gentlemen that. ladies and gentlemen we have classroom we got podcast over here. This is a new thing we got. But well, let's go to the new agent. We also created this folder for new agents, and it's not just new agents. It's any of you that are that are that you can be experienced agents, but you got to restart your business again. You're on medication. Uh, <laughs> well, because you're you're just suicidal because things are not going well. So this is for you, and. Um, Let's say we do the pro three powerful prospecting letters. Oh, how did that happen? Let me Ooh. tell you. I right clicked it, right clicked it on the, is that a word? Right click. I right clicked, clicked it on the on word and you'll see it says copy link address, da, 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 la, la, la. If I did open in a new tab, let me show you what happens. Uh, it, it downloads it and but let me show you what we want to do save link as so when i hit save link as there's the letters and let me go over to my power agent folder that i created which is there on my c drive and because this is prospecting i'm going to throw it in there i'm going to save it and my thing is saving it down there if i go over to the folder power agent folder prospect oh there it is now i open look it at I, how you did that yes i'm double clicking and now there's the letter and now it has this stuff here now i don't know why my computer does this i got these weird characters but oh let me show you up here you want to tell it un enable editing so now i can okay. now i can mess with this over here now i don't again i don't know why my bullets does that weird thing so um if i go into say i'm not going to teach you how to you see even julie i don't know why mine does that it has the little dot but it's 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 showing up as boxes so i don't know i have a font problem but i can change it to that 
And now there's the check marks. If I wanted to send, now I'm going to teach, I'm not going to teach you how to use Microsoft Word, but here <laughs> I'm, but, but there's the concept. And then you can uh, do whatever you want once you're in Word. Okay. And if uh, there's the Power Agent logo, and that's it. Did I cover everything here, Julie? You did. Just make sure when you're downloading any of these items, especially letters, that you go through and that you read it carefully. So that you make sure you take out Daryl's name and include your name, for example. Um, and you uh, don't want to mail to dear, yes, and you don't want to mail to dear Hana Hana because <laughs> if that's not their name, they're going to be upset. They are exactly right. So just make sure anything that you download that you're going to customize, um, you make sure you, you check it carefully, use spell check, spell check is your friend. Um, and even at the bottom there, oh, that's one thing I do want you to check. So if you go to the bottom there, yes. with your name, that's yeah. considered a footer. So you're going to have to double click on that area in order to edit it because that's a so, footer. Yeah, I can't even highlight this. What's going on? I can highlight everything, but not the footer. How do I get to the footer? I will tell you. Double click. Aha. Double click. And look, it's there <laughs> now. Now I'm in the footer. Look, you're a genius. I, I, isn't this, this is fun. This makes tech fun. And then fun. you get back to the letter, you double click in the letter. I double click in the, oh, it's back. I'm back in the oh, body. Like magic. <laughs> it's clicking. We're clicking. I, I feel like Ralph Cranden. We're clicking the magic way. <laughs> All right. Magic. All right. Well, since you showed them the podcast in the classroom tab, um, will you run back there for me? Because I'd love to show them how to download some audio files. Well, I won't run there, but I will certainly click there. Don't save. Okay. And then I am, I'm going to the podcast. So we're going back to classroom. And my goodness, all of this for only $27 a month. I can't stand it. We have to raise the prices. We're putting too much you know, on it's here. It's less than a dollar a day. I know. You know, that's a problem. You can't ever raise your prices. You can only go down. All right, so podcasts, listening and learning. Yes, so we started putting our podcast. This is um, the weekly conference calls that we do. Oh, look at this. I didn't even know we had this, Julie. This is so great. <laughs> I didn't even know we had this. Look at you, Julie. All right, good. So I've been busy. This is um, now this when we click on this. So when I do the weekly conference calls, we're starting to record these now. We're putting them on SoundCloud. So if I click on this, that will bring us to. Okay. We're good. Your master. okay. So, all right, gang. Um, so this is about you. This is for you. Okay. So that's that. Well, we have to put the music on that, Julie. But anyway, if let's say you didn't want to click through to that, watch this, gang. You can right click, save link as. Oh, no, we can't do that, Julie. What's going on? Are you um, still there, Julie? Yes, because it's going to take. Yes, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. It's the link to SoundCloud. You'd have to download it from this, I believe. All right, let's see. See, gang, this is happening live. <laughs> so it's, it seems like, Julie, we can't save the audio file from SoundCloud. We can only listen to it uh, more. And uh, bah, bah, bah. so uh, I guess we can't save audio files from SoundCloud. Well, that's something we'll have to investigate. Okay. So there you go. We're just um, test doing this live and, and uh, <laughs> this recording. Um, so with, this is, we're feeling what the power agents are feeling when they're like, well, how do you do this? All right. So for right now, it seems again, cause we only just started this. Um, where am I? Oops. Sorry. We are just starting to uh, record, record on SoundCloud. And so we're learning too. So we'll figure this out. Now, normally what would happen, and, oh, and I'll, sh I'll, sh by the way, people didn't realize what I just said. What we should be able to is do save link as, and we should see, you see it says HTML. That's not going to save the audio file. HTML is a, is a web page. So if I save this in the, in the power agent folder, I would not be able to play it, but let me see something. I want to check, see if I can show everybody. 
Oh, let's go to monthly sessions. That'll be easier. Um, although we're getting rid of monthly sessions. Um, yeah, the, the links are to those recordings are, are in the podcast where you were. Oh, you're in the Yeah, if let's say, uh, no, we can't do that. Okay, so sorry, gang. So let me um, do what Julie's telling me. And would you, uh, if we go to podcast again, I want to try. So these these are not SoundCloud, correct? Correct. Those are ah, MP3s. See, there you go. So you see, gang, where it says top agent interviews. These are the interviews that we do each month. And... Um, there I can save link as, and you'll see it says MP3, uh, MP3 audio file. So now if I save this in the prospecting, this would download this recording onto my computer. And then, well, let me just show you. And then I'm going to go to that folder again, Power Agent folder. And if I click on this, it's, go. going, it's going to launch. Hey, Power Agent, this is Daryl Davis. Welcome to another interview of the great Power Agent Elia obviously is a heavy breather. And um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's how we did that. Okay. So the problem that we just noticed, so our interviews of our students, uh, you can download right to your computer. And um, this here, though, um, is the weekly coaching calls. And we have to figure out how to make it available to you guys to download it. If we can't, because we do want to publish on SoundCloud, then you'd actually just have to, to listen it here. And um, But we'll see what we can do to get this downloaded. All right, Jules, let's go on to the next thing. Sorry. Sounds perfect. Another question we get quite often is how do I save a photo from Facebook, from our, our private Facebook group? Because so people this get a little confused because from the group, you can't share on your page. And yeah, so you want so to cover that. So who's that good looking guy? All right. So <laughs> let me, yeah, let's, let's skip over that. Let's go to something. <laughs> so cute. Um, boy, there's a lot of pictures of me. All right. We should stop. <laughs> <laughs> there's too many. All right. There's a lot of stuff though here that we post. Let me show something that, um, oh, that's a good one. Is that a good one? Okay, good. So, this Julie posted this for us. This is a topic that came up on a weekly calls, the fear of prospecting sometimes both new and even seasoned agents struggle and manage. So let's say, well, see this one you wouldn't share though, Julie, I want to show something where they would share. So I'm finding an article. So that is a good one um, for them personally, but I want to find one of those articles that I posted not too long ago about the market changing. So there it is. So Fox business, uh, for sellers that are on the fence about selling, share this article to motivate them to sell. So if I click on this article, you'll see it has the housing market packed. This is an article that I, you know, I encourage you guys to use to tell homeowners, hey, if you're thinking about selling, you should really sell now. Um, and I don't want that to play. Now, the question is, how do you share this article on your personal pages? Well, you really can't. You'll notice that there's no place to share it. Now, here's why you can't share this is because the power agent group member is a closed group. You'll see it right there. If you were able to share this outside of the group, then people would actually be able to click on this and come back into this group, almost like a back door. So Facebook says, no, this is just for you and you can't share it. So the work around it, if you wanted to share this article, is that just what I did, click on it, and there's the uh, the URL up top. Let me close this one. And sorry, gang. And what I would do is copy this URL, and then I would go to my personal page on Facebook or wherever else you want, paste it in there, like in LinkedIn or something, and now you can uh, paste it. But Daryl, I'm not giving Perfect. you credit because you gave me the article. Yeah, I don't want the credit. I didn't write the article. Fox Business did. So I'm totally cool with that. I'm just sharing it with you so you can then copy it that way, just the way I showed it to you. And then, of course, if you took that link and you went into LinkedIn or Twitter, the same thing would happen. You would share it. 
Now, let's go back to the the uh, Power Program page and show you something else. Um, so let's go to Julie's. If I can get to Julie's fear one that was okay. Now let's say you really like this fear thing. This was written for you guys uh, to motivate you to get past your fear. How, how do you keep that? Well, watch at the bottom of every picture. And this is across the board anywhere in Facebook, not just our closed group anywhere. If you click on options, you'll see that there's this button that says download. So what you will do is it automatically downloads it. Now on my computer, it, I, I, I can tell it, show me where you downloaded it. And there is a, a folder called downloads. That is the, what I just downloaded, the flyer. Now what you could do is I could now copy this. This is in the download folder, but what I can do is I can cut it and then I can go to my power agent folder and right click, paste it, and there is the um, the flyer. And if I wanted to change the name, click it at once, uh, fear flyer, and uh, and there it is, okay? So that's There's true. another way to do that too, Daryl. If you'll go back to Facebook, can yeah. you right click on that yeah. picture for me? So open it up first. Okay. Now right click on it. I did, yeah. Save in the jazz. Yep. Then you can go ahead and put it right in that folder and you can name it at the same oh, time. Oh, okay. So Julie's got a better way. Okay. Instead of doing that option thing and downloading, because then I went into another folder, Julie's saying, no, just right click, save the image, and then you can pick your folder right away. And at the same time, you can actually change the name of the file. That's a lot quicker than what I just did. Thank you, Jules. <laughs> You're welcome. So that's across everything. I guess this is one of our videos. I don't know if we can, um, that's just the image. So we click on the video, that actually just brings you to the Power Program page where the video is. Well, look at all of these great things just from that one that. posting. Okay, this, this is, you know, gang, we give you so much. It's probably a good idea to just check in um, at least once a week or twice a week and see what we've given you and to help you. and. Okay, so and what's I think the, part of the tech tips is to make sure that you're uh you join the Facebook group. Oh yeah, you got to join the Facebook group. So how do they join the Facebook group? Well, if you go to you classroom can. and then you see all of the tabs, classroom is the magic spot of everything. There's how you yeah. join the Facebook group. Uh, you'll click on that. Now I'm already a member, so it's not going to ask me to join, but that's how it gets you to the group. Okay. Perfect. Um, all right, what else we got, Jules? All right, we got one more for today, and that is how to save a PowerPoint as a PDF. A lot of our downloads are in a PowerPoint file so that you can customize them. Um, but before you send them to anybody, you need to save them as a PDF. So okay. Daryl's gonna pull up one of our files. Yeah, let's do this. Let's do it this way. Let's go to Classroom. Let's go to New Agent. and. Um, it's thinking. <sighs> okay, let's see. We got a um, where's the power agent listing conversation book? You'll notice it says new. So whenever we upload something new, it's there for you. Power agent listing conversation book. Now, is there an easier way to do that? Yep. Okay. So what I did when I clicked on it, it downloaded automatically to that folder that I told showed you guys a moment ago, and uh, there it is. But Julie just taught me something, which is instead of doing it that way, I can right click, save it in my Power Agent folder. And there you go. Now I've already opened it. And when you open it, it looks like this. So you got to do that enabling editing. Now, once you're in here, um, you can then, once you edit it, you can watch me delete that. Ah, all right. I hit control. I, if I hit Control Z, that undoes what I just did. Now, if I, I want control Z. a Control Z, everybody, Control Z. Watch this. I'm going to delete this slide. Ah, it's gone. Control Z. Oh, it's back. Okay, now there's also <laughs> other buttons up there. Now, um, how do you make this a PowerPoint? 
uh, a PDF. So this was the biggest question that started this whole video. When you go to print, now there might be another way to do it, but this is how I do it. Julia. Can you can save as. Okay. Well, all right. Well, let me do it my way, and then we'll do your way, Julie. <laughs> okay. Perfect. You can do uh, print, and uh, you should have Adobe PDF as one of your choices. Now, this is a, a separate software. I, this part, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, you probably have to go online and just search uh, Adobe PDF. And there's, I know there's other companies out there, but this is Get the Reader, uh, PDF Viewer. So there's a couple options there. I'm not going to go into teaching this, but this is a software that you absolutely have on your computer. And um, so when I go to uh, print, to, I, I will tell you an important thing about it this way. Julie, what are you doing? It sounds like you're you're beating somebody up. Julie. What what's going on you with your me? mic? Yeah, your mic is doing weird stuff right now, like you're jogging while we're doing this important video. I'm I'm just sitting here, but okay. All right, that's so weird. Okay, um, <laughs> so printing properties. Uh, when I go to printing, view Adobe, but 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 rely on system fonts. That do not use document fonts. If that is checked, you don't want to do that. That will screw up the image. So you want that unchecked. And that's the most important thing there. When I go to print, uh, but Julie probably is going to tell me there's a better way to do this. New age in printing, ba ba ba. I'm going to save this um, in my Power Agent folder, ba bum bum, and save it there. It's gonna, it should launch it at the bottom. It's, it's producing it, and then it launched it, and there is the PDF that I just created. Yay! Yay! Now, um, let's let's hold this open because we're going to do something else. Julie, you were going to say save as as save an as. option. Okay, so if I go that to that Power Agent folder and I go, I'm going to save. Oh, save as a Power. Take that drop down. Yep. Down, go down to PDF. Correct. Uh, now this obviously is going to overwrite what I just did. So well, um, we always recommend that you change it. So you might want to say um, put your name behind it. So it takes up like the one and the one out. So you would maybe say Daryl Davis is listening conversation, and that we would save that um, so that you know that one's personalized to you. By the way, I do want to say something. When you guys, uh, when you, when you save things, um, you it's good to to have long names or something that will help you find it. Like if you can't remember when you where you found where you save something, but you have an idea that you put the name in their listing or you put in the word uh, presentation, which we we don't use that, but whatever name you put in there, um, it'll help you find it later on. So. So now we just created this as a PDF. If I go back over to the Power Agent folder, there is uh, the way Julie said to do it, which um, seems like it might be a lot easier. Although I just noticed something, Julie. Let's just see something here as far as the uh, resolution. No, the resolution looks the same. So yeah, okay. So uh, great job. Now, Julie, you taught me something, son Yay. of a guy. Um, <laughs> Now, I will show you, like, if let's say that you were looking for, uh, you can't remember the name of something, and I put in, I search your name, uh, listing, uh, there's the listing conversation book. So that's why it's important that you name things. <laughs> You're getting to see all of my files. Um, <laughs> but that's, that's how you get to find. So it's So naming it is important to help you in finding stuff, okay? So let's close this so you don't see all my personal stuff. And then we're going to close this. Now, how do we um, – there's one other thing about this. Let's say I wanted to create this as a picture. Would I do the same thing, Julie, save as, to make a picture out of a slide? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, no, you're still in PDF, so you'd have to go to JPEG. 
Yeah, so I'm looking for that, right? So JPEG would be here. And then uh, go into the Power Agent folder. So if you're in PowerPoint, you can turn it into, sorry, you can turn it into a JPEG. I'm not going to change the name, gang. I'm just, now, right now, I'm just going to do that. There you go. I don't know what happened. So uh, why it wasn't working, maybe I needed to change the name. Uh, maybe didn't like all those lines. But I can now take this PowerPoint and create a JPEG of it. Uh, if I tell it just this one or all of the slides, but if I did all of the slides, it would have like 19 files. And so now when I go to Daryl Test, which is what I just saved in my download, there is the PowerPoint as a as a picture. And the reason why this is important is if you wanted to take anything in the Power Program and let's say just share this one page on a Facebook page, Facebook will only allow you to, they don't allow you to save uh, or post PDFs. Um, you can only post uh, pictures. So if I were gonna uh, just show you that and go here, well, I hope people uh, don't mind that this is taking so long. Well, we can do that, but I'm gonna do it this way. Upload a photo. See, I can not I can do the Daryl test, but I can't do, it will not let PDFs be posted. So I just took a PowerPoint and by exporting and saving it as a JPEG, I can now post that page. Okay. So, okay, cool. What are we, what are we missing, Julie? I think that's it for our tech tips for today. I'm sure we'll be back uh, to answer more questions at another time. Hey, I hope this has helped everybody. Wait a second, Julie. Wait a second. Is there something else that we wanted to demonstrate here, like the ebook or something like that, or do we cover basically everything? Just that in that Power Agent file, they, they're going to want to save things in there so that they can find them easily, or they can simply come back to the site as often as they like. Okay. All right. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we may have some more questions. You may have some more questions. I'm sorry that the video took so long. All right, Julie, I'll let you close this out. All right. Thanks, everybody, to, for joining us for our tech session. Um, we are here for you. We will be answering uh, future questions as well, just as we did today. Thank you, Daryl, for your skills there manipulating the computer. <laughs> and we appreciate yep. everybody for being a Power Agent member. Thanks, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye. Thanks, everybody. Bye-bye.